Here in this video, guys, we are going to create a best day list program by using the, the C program. And the, our the program we are going to create, guys, it is it is going to allow the users to enter their names and the best day and the best dates of the people, and then we are going to display a list of the upcoming best days for the next thirty days, guys. So. All you need to do stay tuned and pay attention to what we are going to create guys step by step click by click guys so let's proceed guys but if you're not yet subscribed to this channel then do so and drop your like to this video guys let's get started I'm and i'm going to start by creating the dc program guys so we're using the video studio call to play the the c program and this is the birthday list so i'm going to save this one let me save it this one so and i'm going to say this one it is the birthday list so Okay, this is the, the best day list. I said it's best day list, so best day list. So I'm going to save this file and I'm going to start lighting the code, guys. As we all know that in C in C in C programming, we start by including the by including the this is uh, some of the of the of the default of default elective guys so this it is going to include the standard input and the output headers and what also i'm going to since we are going to to target the time in this specific program guys we are going to target in the pro, as, I, as i already give you the descriptions we are going to predict the day the the best day for the for the the best day for the for the coming saturday days so we are going to include the another another directive which will be time time.h guys and in in brief guys let me let me let me tell you that this time that this time this this time dot h directive it is it is going to provide the functions and the data types to work with time and the data information in in C program guys if you don't know then you have to note that if you want to your program will include such functions which interact with state types also <clears throat> with the and the time work with state information then this is one we can we can you need to include in order to 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 have such manipulation of the data. So what we are going to do next, <clears throat> I'm going to create the structure. I'm going to create the structure. So I'm going to create the structure and the, I'm going to create the structure. And the amazing of this one it is it is something amazing if you you declare amazing of this of this code editor now it is if you declare something then it is going to finish the things for you guys this is the basic structure of the structure in the c program and uh, if you don't know then it, <clears throat> then let me tell you that this line of code here before I, I declare anything inside it let me give you the simple explanation of this one so this type this this one you can see this is a structure declaration and then what, what, what this is going to do it is going to create a new type new new type name for the for the structure and it can be used to declare a variable a variable of that type as you can as we are going to 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 see it the to see it later on guys so i'm going to to create the the structure here and the, the things i'm going to include in this structure i'm going to to include the type of character and i'm going to declare a name for this type character and then this name will will be will pass the 50 50 characters so and also, and also i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to declare the type integer so the type integer for this for this one will be the birth month so the birth month so our birth month will be of type integer and i'm also i'm going to declare another type integer variable type integer structure type integer that in this structure so this one will be let me call it let me call it birthday so so this is the is how the, the structure look like and then before i finish here I'm, I'm i want to declare something here to this to this structure i'm going to pass this one and I'm going to explain why I passed this this here. So let, let me give you the simple explanation. So <clears throat> in this structure, guys, 
the structure is the user defined data type so that is can that can contain multiple variables as you can see here i i, I input the multiple variable in this structure which is type character birthday and a birth month so but also a structure can be <coughs> you can see this is a structure a structure and is one which is going to declare a a type of a structure this 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 keyword here it is what it is going to determine to, to define the, the structure so declare a structure by using this struct keywords but also this one here type this one type type this so this declaration create a new type name for existing that type and it is often used to create shorten or more eclipse names for a complex that type make it easy to, to lead and maintain that why i create this person here as a as a data type for this one so Let's proceed, guys. We will understand as we as we go on. So, what I'm going to do next, I'm going to start the C program. As we all know, the C program, it is we're going to initialize the C program by starting with the with the main with the main program with the main function. So, here is the, is the main function, guys, and the, <clears throat> this is the startup the the starting point of, of our of our C program. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to declare the variables, guys. So, such as the number of the people we want to add to our to our list, but also the 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 personal structure we already we have already declared here. But we also we have declared the structure with string variable here, name, best month, and the best and the best day. So let me start by declaring the number of people variable. So it should be of type integer. So type integer, and I'm going to say this will be. Let's say. So this this variable it is number of people which is type type integer and I'm going to also so I'm going to create I'm going to create an array for the of the person struct here so to do so I'm going to say I'm going to refer the person structure and I'm going to say that I'm going to create the array this array will <coughs> this array will have will pass through 100 100 100 items so what i'm going to do next i'm going to get the current time and this is where the this important this important area it is come on on touch because we want to get we are, we are going to deal now with with time so i'm going to i'm going to get the current time so to get the current time we have already include this this header here this directive here to get the to get the lead time i'm going to say so i'm going to declare this time to and the time t let me let me declare the variable now so our time t will, will be equal to let's say and uh, don't don't worry if you are you are complete beginner to this one don't worry because you, you are, will understand as we as we proceed so this is this is the, the the declaration to get the to get the current time guys so but now what i'm going to do next i'm going to convert the 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 time to the to the to the local time so to do so i'm going to target the structure so so i'm going to target our structure and this i'm going to say that this is the variable i'm i'm declared to convert the the time to the local time so it will be something like this so so it will be local this is the variable local time, and then I'm going to set it is equal to the is equal to the local time. So is equal to the local time, and I'm going to, to put these things here. So this it is going to convert the, the time to the to the local time. So this is what. What this is what the this line of code it is going to do for us, and as I already show, since we are in, we are we are we are interacting with time, that's why we have already I've already include this time, the time directive above there. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to after I've already convert the time to the lock time, I'm going to get the months. I'm going to get the I'm going to get the months. So to get the months, I'm going to declare another variable here which will be type integer. So this one we're going to let's say now our current month the current month guys is going to be equal to the let's say equal to the local time and a equal to the local time now will be 
time timer so in the i'm going to add one here so this declaration here it is going to get the months get the current months guys so if you're completely beginner don't worry because we are going to understand as we as we proceed on so you don't need to understand all the things at the once so it is going step by step now i'm going to get the current day so to get the current day i'm going to click to declare this one so i'm going to pass there call it the current day so what i'm going to do i'm going to i'm going to declare this one so local time now will it be this one with this one okay let me take this and then here we have already get the here we, it is the variable to help us to get the, the current day now i'm going to loop the counter so because we are going to have the loop later on so i'm going to loop the counters so to loop the counters what i'm going to do i'm going to declare the the two variables here and uh, let me call it i and then uh, the the second one let me call it j so this are uh, the two variables we are going to use to to leave the counter so what i'm going to do get now i'm going to get the number of the people to add to our to our <clears throat> to our to our system guys so i'm going to print because we want to collect the the this value from the from the keyboard from the user so the user will will will, will type the, the the details for the for the people so i'm going to add something like this and i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to say let's say enter the enter the number of people to add so so also so this is going to print to the user enter the number of people we want to add so we want to collect the the input from the user to do so we are going to use the scanner function which is the pre <coughs> this is the built-in function for the c program to collect the the input from the user and uh, since we are going to collect the the number of people it will be the type of integer so i'm going to use the percent d which is going to collect the percent going to return the the <coughs> The, the 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 type integer so here i'm going to pass the number of number of people guys so so the user will will type the number of people now we're going to to get the data of each person so such as the the name maybe bus months but also the the best day so to do so we're going to to use the for so for loop so let me declare a for loop here so this is a for loop guys so and uh, as you can see after you have already click declare you have already entered the for loop which is going to give you the the syntax of the of the for loop guys so this is the amazing of this code editor available right now because they make the things easier guys if you forget something that is going to remind you so this is a general syntax for the for the <clears throat> for the for the for the for program so let me let me make it as i want so i'm going to also do the same i i'm going to initialize to zero and i'm going to also let me i is equal to let me change the condition here will be i will be i less than to the to the number of people number of people but also i'm going to leave the here the same so what i'm going to do next i'm going to the code section here to the code section what i'm going to do i'm going to print the data and i'm going to i'm going to collect the input from the user i'm going to first print it to the user to enter the name of the person so so i'm going to say that i'm going to prompt to the user let's say enter enter name enter name for the name for the person so so since we are going to allow the <coughs> the user for the user to input this data so <coughs> let me pass here percent d since it is going to to return the integer it is going to allow the integer type so here i leave the space because the of the user types we not we need it to, to leave the space so here what i'm going to do i'm going to say 
Okay, it is I now. I plus plus one, guys. So, so I'm going to finish this one. But also, I'm going to, to collect the the user input with this one. So will be scan F. So this one will be scan F, and the for the for this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to. As we we all know that the, there are many things regarding this one. So here I'm going to declare the percent F. There are many things regarding data types. For example, if you want to collect the string, then we're going to declare the percent percent S. So here we're going to collect the string because the user it is going to enter the name. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, I'm going to say people. So so it will be the maybe the first people, the second people. So people dot so here we're going to collect the the people's name guys so and then as you can see we are going to store it in in this in this variable guys and then this we are going to collect this as a string that way we declare the percent s so now let me let me let me ask the user to let me print to the user another another things here another thing here Okay, what I'm going to print next to the user, I'm going to say, okay, enter the, say, enter the best month for the person. For the person, guys, and then this one will be there. I'm going to to allow the user to, to to type the to type the the best months and we all know that the months range from one to to twelve. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave the space here at the user type. So okay, now will be i will be i plus one. So now I'm going to collect the input from the user. So to do so, we're going to use the scan F. The scan F, so. So the scan F now, since we are going to collect the mass, it is type integer that we declare the, the percent int, and the, here will be the, I'm going to say people, and the, what we're going to do, we're going to pass I variable here, and the, we're going to target this with the with the bath month. So now we are going to to collect another. We are going to print another another prompt to the user to ask it to ask to, to enter the the best day date. So here I'm going to let's say enter enter best day. Interbase for person, so let me do this percent D and the <clears throat> this one since we all know that the day ranging from from one to to third one, so is come of the simple de de description that you user want to want to to, uh, to provide the best day date, but the best day date should be valid, should be this range from the one to to third one, guys. So and the, since we are we are we are directing this data to the current time and the current day. Then the the user cannot lie to us. So if you enter the the range be, below behind this, then it is going to play the the error message, guys. The system it is going to to to, to ignore this to to delay to to to, to cancel the lab. So so now I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to to scan this to to collect the. This data from the user and the CC it is going to be the part type integer, so it will be percent int. And the, now I'm going to do next, I'm going to let's say these people now. So it'll be let's pass I here, and then we are going to here we're going to be the best day, the best day. So here it is our four follow, which is to get the data for of the of each person guys and this is it is a loop then it is going to iterate 
because if we use our own Twitter, the data for the two people, then it's going to iterate for the first one, for the second one, for the, if for the seven, then it's going to do the same thing. So <clears throat> now what we are going to do next, we are going to print the list of upcoming birthday regarding what the, the user enters, guys. So to do so, let's go all the way down here, and we are going to, to start writing the code to print the upcoming birthday. So to print the upcoming birthday, we're going to start by declaring this one, by printing this one. So we're going to print the, the message also. So the upcoming upcoming birthdays, the upcoming, let's say the upcoming birthdays, upcoming birthdays, upcoming birthdays for, let's say, Next Saturdays, next Saturdays. So, and I'm going to 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 put another to put in the the things in the in the next line. So that why I put this one. So let me close this one. What I'm going to do next? Also, I'm going to declare another for for this one. So. Going to declare the for this for loop here, but this one will be four inside the for loop. So because this and then I'm going to say as usual i is equal to this one, and then the counter as you can see here we declare the count of i and j, and this is what we are going to use here. This variable i and j it is going to use here. So here will be Saturdays, and then we're going to leave this at this at the usual. So here in code. In this code, in this code, we are going to start the for loop, another for loop. So, so let's put another for loop here, and then this for loop inside this, it is going to take the value j. So variable j. So this will be our our counter. So here we are going to put j, and then I'm going to put the another j here, and then here I'm going to change this from counting. From count now will be will be will be number of people. So, but also I'm going to put J plus plus here. So <clears throat> here I'm going to put the code. So to check if the person's birthday is is the, is the next coming Saturdays. So to do so, I'm going to target this code section. So in this code section, I'm going to to start with the if statement. So yeah, in this if statement, I'm going to put the, the conditions, guys. So the conditions will be as follows. So let's put the conditions. So the condition here, let me take this. So let me say that this one, the first condition will be, it is going to be, let's say, people here we are going to pass j and i'm going to say we're going to be those birth months so if this it is it is it is equal this is not assignment so if you use this the the single equal sign will be an assignment to the programming but if you the double equal sign for double double consecutive equal sign then it will be Equal. This is represent equal, not assignment. So if this one it is current, it is it is equal to the it is equal to the to the current month. So it is equal to the to the current month, and then uh, as well as as well as so we're going to put the the cup of condition as well as this here j dot here we're going to be the birthday so this one is equal to to the current day to the current day so to the current day we're going to let's say plus i here so we are going to also <coughs> 
add it O. So if this one is O, this this second here. So this one will be B people and uh, let's pass J here. But next month, and I'm going to say if this one is equal to the is equal to the current month. So <coughs> if this equal to the current month, then we go to the current month plus 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 this one here, and uh, <coughs> the condition means if you add the if you add this end condition. Then it means the two conditions shall be should be equal. In order that they they got to learn the the two conditions should be should be valid. So so here here I'm going to pass also J, but it will be here I'm going to pass the the this day and I'm going to. Let's say is equal to i minus i minus let's say i minus certain current day. So current day now we're going as you can see here. So let me, let me do this. To see it clear, so <clears throat> here is our condition, guys. So as you can see here, it is people. Then people, if you the, the people number of people this day, it is going to target the the number of people. So if people dot birth months, so the birth month of this one is equal to the current month. So say what we are going to do, and the condition also meet with the people to the birth day is equal to the current day plus i then. Or the condition, another condition, this one, people j to the bus months to the is equal to this one, and then it is this one, it is much with this condition here. So, what we are going to do, we are going to to print this things here. So, in the code section, let's print, let's print now the let's say, let's say this. Going to say, I've already said that percent s it is <coughs> for the stream. <coughs> Here, percent s, then percent d. <coughs> there. So <coughs> we're going to print this thing, these things here. Let's say. People, people that names and then people, <coughs> then people. We're going to print people dot dot best months, and then we are going to are going to to print people here will be next day so best day not next day best day so if the condition it is correct then the 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 this this thing is going to to be printed which is it is going to show the name of the person but also the best months also be the best day of the of the people guys so here it is the, the our program what it is looking like. So what we need to do right now, we need to learn this program to see the, the results of what we are we were creating. So to learn this code, I've already saved this. So let me come here.
So let me clear this. <clears throat> clear this one. So let's see if there is another problem. So Wait to wait, it is going to okay. Okay, guys, now the program is it is already it is already <coughs> lined up, and you can see now it is going to it is going to ask us to enter the number of people to add to our best daily. So let me say I'm going to add the five. Okay, enter the name of the first person. Let me say Ali John. So, okay, it are the best, it are the best man. So, it are the best name, enter the, the name. So, let me learn this program. And call it, so. Okay, let's enter the number of the people want to add. So it is five, enter the, the first person, so so enter the name of the person, enter the bus for the second month, so say this one, so observe the so there's a problem, so so the place we mess up, so let's learn it again to see. Says free. Enter name for the person one. Okay, enter the 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 enter the best months for the for the person. So the best months will be let's say it is four. Okay, enter the the best day. Let's say it is twenty six. Okay, enter the enter the name enter the name of the second one. So let's say. Okay, into the best months, let's say it is 11th, the November one, so let's say it is 17. Okay, into the name of the second place, so this one. Into the best months, let's say it is this one, and there. let's say it is 7. Okay, now you can see the upcoming best day, it is, it is this one, the upcoming last day, guys, today. To the, to the next 30 days, which is 426, which is this one. So the coming birthday, it is of this person here, IALS. So this is what the program it is going to do. And this program, it is the simple one, guys. So if you want to take it into complex, then you can do some of the modification, guys. But up to this video, I hope the, it has some value to you guys. So if so, then consider subscribing to this channel. Let's muscle like button to give this video appreciation, guys. Thank you for this one. And I will see you in the next coming wonderful video.